What's going on YouTube family? This is your man Pristine back with another video. Got Sanaya in the house. Um, my little two-year-old, you know what I'm saying? She's trolling me hard. So I'm like, okay, let me just go ahead and, you know, put her in the video so she'll sit still. All right. Now I'm back with another unboxing, y'all. Yeah. Now check this out. Okay. That was the deal. We made a deal. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be quiet. You gotta, you gotta keep it down. What is it about LG, ladies and gentlemen? Is it just me, or does it still seem like they're being overshadowed still by Apple, Samsung, and quite frankly, a lot of other major players out there in the mobile industry like Xiaomi, uh, uh, um, OnePlus, right? I mean, you seem to hear a lot of talk about some of these other devices, but ain't nobody really talking too much about LG and what they're doing in the mobile industry right now. Now, me personally, I feel like they've got one of the best mobile phones out in the game right now as of late. The recent release of the LG V40, which is what I've got right here, and I'm going to unbox it for you shortly. But ladies and gentlemen, let me know, let me know down in the comments if you too feel, as, feel similar to what I do as far as LG not really getting the recognition that they so deserve in the mobile industry. What's it going to take in order for you to make the switch to an LG device? Things that make me go, hmm. They make you go, hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Things that make us go, hmm. Well, anyway, let's crack the box, shall we? All right, y'all, so we back in. Got the phone all set up. Now, I have yet to download any of my applications on the device just because I want to give you guys a clear-cut uh, indication of the exact amount of gigabytes that we've got fresh out of the box considering all the applications that come preloaded on the device and so as you can see we do have always on display right there which is always a welcome to feature i love the fact that lg gives us the always on display customizable abilities to do stuff like this i mean so your know, pristine tech the time the date any notifications underneath that will pop up right here and then we've got the um the uh, the amount of battery life that we've got right now, which is at 31%. Um, double tap to wake the device. And it's going to ask for your screen unlock. That lightning fast fingerprint sensor. Double tap to lock the screen. And the fingerprint sensor works 100% of the time. I do We do have face ID on this device. I've yet to set that up. Um, I'll probably I'll show that off in the full review um, right now I'm good with the fingerprint sensor but just know that we do have uh, multiple options as far as how to secure your device whether it be through the fingerprint sensor um, facial unlock or if you just want to go the old school uh, conventional route you can set up a pin code um, a not code uh, a password <coughs> or a little gesture or something like that to keep your device safe and secure from people that you may not want inside of your device. Now, again, let's just take a peek at um, the applications that come pre-installed on the device. It's not that much, um, but definitely there's some things on here that I am absolutely not going to use. Um, and so, of course, you know, we've got the Google Suite. We've got um, the LG Essentials, which these are things that just come standard on, on LG devices. Um, Message Plus, that's Verizon's um, Messenger application, which I do not use that. I'm going to be using LG's default Messenger, which is that right there. Um, and then we come with the Verizon suite just because this is a Verizon device. You know, you got my, Ver my Verizon Cloud, Security and Privacy, Caller Name ID, and Hum. Um, see, YouTube Maps, Google, Gmail, Voicemail, Help Settings. Uh, let's see, we've got Bingo Bash, you know, as I mentioned in several of my videos, I'm not a, uh, a, a mobile gamer, you know, I'm a pro, PlayStation 4 Pro guy, um, I'm more of a console gamer, so definitely going to be getting rid of that, um, Slotomania, Cookie Jam, Final Fantasy, going to be getting rid of that, um, and then we do have Facebook pre-installed, Groupon, LinkedIn, Netflix is pre-installed, Yahoo Finance, Yahoo Mail, Yahoo Sports, Yahoo News, Yelp, and Lens. And so the good thing about a lot of these applications that come preloaded, if you do not want them, you can uninstall them to free up uh, that space that you want on your device. Now, this is the 64 gig device. Um, memory can be expanded up to 256 gigs, I believe. 
And so if we go into settings and then hit the storage, you will see that out of the 64 gigs, 21.61 gigabytes have been utilized by the apps that came preloaded on the device. Okay, so again, yeah, I, I wish that, you know, companies would just keep it real and just say, okay, you know, just start saying, you know, what the actual gigabyte package is, you know, so if, if it's a 64 gig device, I really wish that the companies would say, hey, you know, considering the preloaded uh, uh, applications that took up 10 gigs, so you've got 54 gigs, you know, as opposed to saying you've got 64 gigs, because a lot of people that aren't really tech savvy like that, that know to check this stuff, I'm sure a lot of people really feel like they've get, they're actually getting 64 gigs of storage flat out, not knowing at all that the apps that are preloaded on the device are absorbing some of that gigabyte space. And so, um, you know, I, I feel like that can be a little bit misleading. Um, but uh, so that's why I always kind of go into that when I do the unboxings, just to give you guys a clear indication of exactly how many gigs you do have to work with fresh out of the box. Because what the company doesn't tell you is, yes, you know, the, the preloaded applications do take up gigabyte space. All right. Now, if we go back into settings and if we go to about phone and we'll just say status, because I know that I did get an update so you can see the phone name v40 thin q some people may say the v40 think um the correct pronunciation is thin q um but hey i mean you can call it whatever you want to um it is kind of a strange name you know thin q um but nonetheless that's what lg refers to it as and so Okay, there you can see we're running Android 8.1, and we did get the September 1st security patch. And so there was an update fresh out of the box. Um, I did take a peek at that before I did the update, and it was a later date. And so this is the most recent one. So it's good to see that the uh, most recent um, security patch uh, has been uh, uh, downloaded to the device. And uh, yeah, we are on par, <laughs> you know, so I am a huge fan of um, LG Skin or LG's UI, mainly because of the settings menu. I love the fact that when you go into the settings, um, rather than having things just conventionally as it is on most Android devices in this list view, I'm in love with the fact that you have the ability to change it to the tab view. And what the tab view does, as I've mentioned this in lots of other LG devices that I've reviewed, um, I like how they just categorize everything for you as opposed to just having this long consolidated list and it kind of leave you searching for everything. And in certain devices, everything that you're looking for is not always that obvious. You know what I mean? And so I think, you know, Android sometimes can kind of leave people guessing and, you know, you kind of have to fish around for something as opposed to just a clean look like this. If you know you're looking for something under the network settings, then you just hit network and everything that's under that setting is going to be there. Um, if you're looking for something in the sound settings, you just hit sound and all of the sound settings are going to be right there. Same thing, display settings. If you're looking to tweak or toggle anything on the display, it's going to be right here under all, under all the display settings. And then same thing with general um, general settings that you may want to access on the phone. You just hit general, and here is all of your general uh, 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 settings right there. And so you don't have to go fishing around from different category to category because certain things are hidden. Um, Especially with Oreo, I know that you know when Oreo first dropped. I mean, that was one of the main things that I noticed is that in the settings screen, every you know things were consolidated a lot, and they they really didn't go you know too too deep into where to find certain things. And so it's like you really have to search around for stuff. Um, and again, for a lot of the people that really aren't that tech savvy or know what to search when they're looking for certain things, then those people are just basically SOL, maybe thinking that the phone maybe not have had a particular setting or an option when in fact that it did, but they just didn't know where to look for it. You know what I mean? So I feel like, you know, that tab view under the settings provides a much more simplistic settings aspect for people to find the things that they're looking for without confusion. Um, so again, Android 8.1 Oreo, one swipe down is going to bring you to uh, a part of your quick toggles and some of your notifications. Swipe down again, this is where you're going to be able to access all of your quick toggles, and then you can side scroll to get to the rest of them. There's a little, um, when you hit edit, 
right there then you can edit those and by doing that you can just take your finger and move them around to your liking and then just hit the check and they're going to be in the exact orientation if you swipe down that's also going to be where all of your notifications are as well and if so if you're looking for you know to just to take a quick peek at a notification then slide down once slide down again you know to access a longer list if you've got more than one notification there all right so that is a very well that's typical android look so um now if we long press on the display this is where we're going to get to toggle some home screen functions all right and so you'll see we've got widgets wallpaper and themes home screen settings and grid okay so if we go to home screen settings then we've got select home <coughs> pardon me this is where you have the ability to kind of leave things as is as far as having applications on the screen and you just swipe back and forth to access them or you can hit home will appear in apps list and apps list is an app drawer and so you can choose that as well if you want to take all the applications off of your home screen and just have everything organized in an app drawer you do have that option or you can hit easy home which is just more of a simplistic uh, uh, application layout you know pretty much anybody can can figure that out um, all right so we'll go back into that and then we've got wallpaper screen swipe effect I feel like LG was the ones who originated the transition uh, or, be, or being able to change the transition effect uh, while you're scrolling and I love that carousel look and so I always tend to put it there we've got icon shape we can change the shape of the icons this is original rounded square round or cylinder I like the cylinder look so I'm gonna go ahead and go with that you know I'm huge on being able to customize my device and I just love how LG skin really gives you a lot of customizable options to really make your phone look the way you want it to personalize it so that it doesn't look like what everybody else is rocking okay we do have app flash and so app flash is when you give the phone a hard swipe to the right then it's gonna pop up with a long list of news and information that you may want you can customize that kinda of like Google now um, but I've been using Google now forever and I'm used to it so I think I'm gonna disable app flash but basically what app flash is is again when you swipe hard to the right of your phone then it's just gonna give you a full list of news and like I said you can customize this to basically give you the type of news that you want so that whenever you go to it then you know it's keeping you keeping you up on uh, what's the latest of your choice and so that is app flash right there and then you got sort apps by if we click on that that's just alphabetically if you want to sort apps by the download date um, so you do have a choice as to how you want your apps to show um, you can hide apps and you can just choose which one you want to hide and it will hide them and then you got um, loop home screen all that is is just when you scroll if you're scrolling to a page where there's nothing on the next on the next page then it would just loop back around to your original start screen um, or your home screen whatever that screen is and then there's help right there I mean so if you're looking for something and you can't seem to find it um, then you know you've got a help option right there that will uh, that will help you out and so um, now again snapdragon 845 processor six gigs of RAM so they upped the RAM I know that from the LG G7 they still were rocking four gigs of RAM um, but LG decided to up the RAM uh, ante a bit by adding two additional gigs of RAM and so rather than four we've got six and this thing it is very responsive to the touch as you can see no lag at all whatsoever um, some of the apps that I had open you can see just the RAM management it just breezes right Oh, pardon me breezes right through them now we'll go ahead and hit clear and we'll just go into the Google suite Google duo okay yep let's quit that photos Google Drive play music play movies and I'm just doing this just to kind of give you guys an, an idea of how quickly the V40 is moving. Google Docs, okay, Google Sheets, 
Google Slides, Google Pay. And so as I mentioned, we do have NFC on board for all you individuals that like to pay with, you know, um, pay with your phone. Then, hey, you do have that option here. Okay. Now, let's kind of give you guys an idea. We'll browse, uh, browse through that. Let's go back into photos. And you see it just pops right back into photos. Duo. Take a quick second to load that back up, but not too much time. Google Docs. Sheets, play music, you guys get the idea. In other words, this phone is blazing, blazing fast. Um, and so, again, you know, I, I think it's very interesting how it just seems like, a, you know, LG doesn't really get the recognition that I feel as though they deserve. They make some excellent, excellent devices that are definitely in contention with some of the other devices that are out there that are well known, like the Apples and the Samsungs. Um, and like I said, I mean, you're even starting to hear um, other OEMs talked more about than you hear LG devices and products talked about as far as the mobile uh, industry is concerned. Um, and I think that this device is right up there with them all. I mean, you got all the 2018 specs, all the bells and whistles, IP68 rating, wire, uh, wireless charge compatible. Um, you know, I think the only thing that this phone is lacking, according to what people have standardized for 2018 specs, is dual uh, dual speakers, you know, whether they be front facing or, you know, a speaker in the grill, uh, in, uh, in the ear receiver and then the bottom firing speaker. But we do have that boom box speaker, the same speaker that we saw in the LG G7 where you lay it on something hollow. <coughs> Pardon me. And you really get a uh, 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 truly big sound. Um, and so we've got that same speaker technology here on the, um, on the LG V40. And again, you know, watching content on this device is an absolute joy. It's a big 6.4 inch, uh, 6.4 inch OLED panel, and so things look extremely. It just looks crystal clear. I mean, things. It's it's magnificent. Um, you know, you got deep, vibrant color tones. You know, whites are whites, reds are reds, blues are blues, black is really truly black. You know what I mean? And so um, we do have the ability under the settings key under display to change the screen resolution and so right now from by default it's on 2340 by 1080 which is what I would normally rock it on but if you want to scale that down to 720 you can just move the slider down to 720p or if you want to move that up to to full uh, quad HD then you could do that and really take full advantage of this OLED panel in that particular regard um, just go ahead and hit apply and everything saves now we do have um, that brightness that brightness feature again where the phone gets up to a thousand nits I believe um, and so yeah it is very bright and so right now I've just got it on auto brightness but you should not have any problems at all with viewing angles because once you hit that little toggle right now which phones at 53 percent it literally it jacks the bar all the way up to a thousand nits and this phone is extremely bright extremely bright and so you should not have any problems at all with viewing angles with different lighting effects or anything like that you should be able to see the LG V40 just fine now if we go into the camera you'll see here we've got Google Lens and so we do have AI compatibility and there's several different things that this phone can recognize um, and provide information just by pointing the viewfinder at it. Okay, all kind of different, you know, colors, animals, people, um, landmarks, monuments, food. I mean, there's a there's a bunch of different things in which this AI camera is able to identify. Um, you've got portrait mode, triple shot, AI cam. Again, as I mentioned, we've got five cameras on this phone, ladies and gentlemen, five. And so we've got a triple camera system on the rear, dual camera system on the front. And on the front, we've got an 8 megapixel primary, 5 megapixel wide angle lens. On the rear, we've got a 12 megapixel primary, 12 megapixel telephoto, and a 16 megapixel super wide angle, um, a super wide angle lens. And so you are able to do some really cool things with this particular camera. If we go into the settings here, you will see that we've got super bright camera, HDR, steady recording, 
live photo, cheese shutter, tag locations, grid, grid, and add signature. At the bottom, we've got full vision. And what that is, is rather than the viewfinder just being a little square on the screen, when you hit full vision, the viewfinder becomes the full uh, uh, 19 by 9 aspect ratio, and you're able just to see whatever you're looking at full screen. Okay, now this little button here, you see where it says 4.312 megapixels. That is where we toggle the screen resolution uh, for the camera and the video camera. Well, that's just for the camera. This is for the video camera right there. So they're both set to, <coughs> pardon me, um, they're both set manually um, to the setting in which they are under, which the photo size is um, 4.3. At um, 12 megapixel, 40, 32 by 30, 24, and you can change that if you wish. And then the video settings is full HD at uh, 16 by 9, 1920 by 8 by um, by 1080p. But as you can see, you do have the UHD 16 by 9, 60 frames per second at 4K recording. I mean, so that is nice that we have that on. The LG V40. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to be excited about that because most devices that have 4K recording, you can only record at at um at 30 frames, with the exception of the of the latest iPhones. Okay, so it's probably going to give some of those phones, you know, a run for their money having the ability to record at 60 frames of 4K. That's pretty sweet. And then here we've got the timer. Okay, and so I'll go ahead and hit the back button. The different modes that we've got, we've got auto, manual, manual video, cine video food, slow-mo, panorama, uh, flash, jump cut, time-lapse, 360 panorama, center shot, and AR stickers. And so you see you've got a whole slew of different little filters to choose, or different modes to choose from. Okay, go out of that. And then if we hit the little icon right there, that just gives us some different color settings to kind of toggle. And as you can see, we've got a pretty good amount of those right there. If you want to change what looks to be like the color temperature of the shots that you're taking. Okay, this little icon right there is to flip the camera. And then here is our flash. And flash is off right now. And so as you can see here with the TriCam system, this is our regular viewfinder. That's a close-up viewfinder. And then that is the super wide right there and so go back to primary go ahead and flip the camera around now for the facial for the uh, selfie camera you see we do have beauty mode that is enabled which is why it's yellow and so you know some of you guys may want to disable that if you want more of an accurate photo not to say that the photo wouldn't look good with beauty mode on but a lot of times when you take a selfie, you can kind of tell whether or not beauty mode is enabled or not. And so some people just like to turn that off. Now, the different filters, you, you do have different filters as well for the selfie camera. And then, oh, those are stickers. Okay. So you just hit that to turn that off. And for the selfie camera, again, we've got Google Lens, Portrait, and AI Cam. And here is the regular view. And then here is the wide angle view. Not as wide as the front, as the rear camera, but nonetheless, I mean, it is good to have wide angle on the selfie cam. Now, here's a couple of photos that I took earlier of my daughter, Sanaya, um, who was just in the room trolling me while I was trying to record earlier. Um, but that is the close-up shot. That is the super wide angle shot. And then that is the regular viewfinder. Okay. And this is me just taking a regular selfie with the, with the regular uh, uh, camera lens, the 8 megapixel, and then, wait, no, okay, so here's the, here's the primary right here, the primary 8 megapixel sensor, and then here is the 5 megapixel wide angle sensor, so you can see, you know, the selfie camera, it does get a little wider, I mean, it's definitely going to help with getting more subjects in the shot if you're taking a selfie, but it's not as wide as the wide angle lens that's on the rear, I mean, so, and then there's another photo that I took earlier, as well with the primary 8 megapixel sensor with the selfies and so good looking photos everything seems to look crystal clear um, color saturation is on point um, things don't seem to be washed in any way shape or form you know LG they do a really good job with their cameras um, so I'm definitely not but ladies and gentlemen that's 
all I've got right now for my first initial thoughts and impressions and unboxing for the LG V40. What do you guys think about this device? You know, if you have the V40, let me know, you know, what your experience is with it. If you like it, if you don't like it, what are your reasons for not liking it? Or what are your reasons as to why you love it? Do you guys feel as though LG doesn't really get a fair shake in the mobile industry with the devices that they create? Um when they're being stacked up against the competition like Apple or Samsung or even some of the other major players, like I mentioned, Xiaomi, OnePlus, you know, all those kind of things. Do you feel the V40 is overpriced? Because I feel like this phone being 950 bucks, I mean, you know, the era in which we live in, which a lot of these premium devices are coming out with these very high prices, you know, I kind of look at it like, you know, the, the fact is, I mean, LG, they they worked really hard to put this phone together. It wasn't something that was just completely thrown together. This phone could very easily be the best phone out if there were not a lot of the other options that are out there. <laughs> you know, so, I mean, we're in a saturated market with cell phones right now where, you know, every, scene, every time you turn around, it's like something can come out today. And then <coughs> another two or three days, something else comes out. And that's where a lot of the focus is. And attention goes and so a lot of these phones I feel like they just kind of get you know they get their quick really quick 15 minutes of fame and then something else is out and then it's just on to the next um, but I feel like LG doesn't really properly get their you know their 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 just due with a lot of the devices that they've put out which in my opinion have been really really great devices that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any of them I mean I feel like the v40 here can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with all of them the note 9 uh, the, the 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 iPhone 10s max uh, uh, the 10s um, and any other you know big time flagship that's out there um, you know OnePlus all of them now OnePlus you know I understand it's it's cheaper in cost but there's certain things that this phone has that the OnePlus 6 and the 6T does not have like wireless charging like an IP rating um, you know um, you know this still has the headphone jack with the quad DAC you know the the 6T they just recently removed the headphone jack I mean so um, you know, there's there's definitely some benefits to having, you know, the V40 here. And plus all, you know, the cameras and all the camera options that you get. I mean, you know, I, I got to say that their they're LG's right on par with all these other companies out there that are charging high prices. I mean, so, um, yeah, it's just very interesting. But I'd like to know what you guys think about it. All right. So. Be sure if you like that if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to expose yourself to tons of more videos like this one that I've done. And keep it locked at Pristine Mobile Tech because I've got so much more content to come. Be sure to hit that notification bell so that every time I upload a video and it goes live, you will get the notification indicating that a new video is live and you can check it out. And down below in the comment section, let me know your thoughts and opinions or your feedback on what you saw. If there was anything that I missed, then make sure you voice that as well. And I'll be sure to try to accommodate you guys with more information in future videos that I do for these devices. All right. So you guys already know. Until the next video, please stay safe. Get spiritually fit because we are definitely living in the last days. And keep it pristine in every aspect of your lives. This is the LG V40. I'm your man, Pristine, bringing you the content. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. We out.